the next five here, and it's the Oscars. So the Oscars are about to kick off, and I'm joined by a couple of special guests as we're going to discuss our picks. This is a pre-show analysis, so what you hear is based on our opinion. So, guys, so, by the way, this is Alex and this is Sean. Hi, guys. So let's get into it. What are your, what, what are your guys' picks for best film editing? Um, what do you think, Alex? My pick would probably have to be Arrival. Because I felt that it was, the way it was edited was just, I just thought the whole film was just masterful. And especially the editing, and I just thought it had a nice flow to it. So mine was definitely Arrival for best film editing. Yours? Yeah, um, I'd have to go with like La La Land, I think, because that was just fantastically made and I just thought that the way they cut the scenes together and the music was really great. Yeah, for me it's definitely La La Land for best film editing. Alright, moving on. Best cinematography, what's yours? My um, best cinematography was easily again Arrival. I felt that some of the shots were just, it gave scale to the movie and especially how it was shot. It was just very clean and very nicely done and I felt it just really added to the movie cinematography in mm -hmm. Arrival. What's your picture? Um, look, I think La La Land's going to win, but I'd really like to see Silence win because I think that Rodrigo did a fantastic job, beautifully shot and looked really, really amazing and I think he deserves to be, you know, win an award for it. Yeah, for me, I think for best cinematography, it's got to be La La Land because the opening scene of like just that big musical number kind of like set the scene of just like, yeah, the cinematography in this film is going to be spectacular and it was. Alright, next one is best original song. What's your pick? My pick would have definitely have to be Audition from La La Land because I just felt that it was impactful and it was just really, really well done. So yeah. So for me, it's the same song. It's got to be Audition because that was definitely the best song that was performed in that film, and it was done by Emma Stone. And like that, that song I think cemented her nomination for Best Actress. What's your pick, Sean? Yep, I'd go with Audition as well. I think it's good to see sort of musicals done today, and I think it was a really great sort of song. And, and Made, you know, had a great effect on the film. Alright, so that's the, that's the first clean sweep. Yeah. So, <laughs> first one we've agreed on. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next one, best original score. What's your pick? Yeah, I would definitely have to say also La La Land because I just felt like its music was just perfectly, it was, it was everything I wanted from a musical and it was just so catchy and just, yeah, I really enjoyed the score of La La Land. And what's your pick, Sean? I'd say La La Land again because just all the music in it was really great and sort of original songs that we could have just really thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, for me, it's definitely got to be La La Land. So, again, that's the second clean sweep. Alright, next one, best animated feature. What's your pick? Mine was by, it was from Long Mile, Kubo and the Two Strings. I thought that was brilliant. It was, it's honestly one of, some, one of the best animated films I've seen in years. It's, yeah. it had everything that you wanted from it. it. was, the style was brilliant and it was just executed. Just like the studio, as with all these films, it's just executed brilliantly. And yours, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, I would go with Cuba and Two Strings. Most sort of original idea I'd seen in a long time, and probably yeah, one of the best animated sort of things using animation and stop motion was brilliant. Yeah, for me it's got to be Cuba and the Two Strings because, again, I'm a fan of stop motion animation, and you know it's nice to see you know like a film like this do something you know different with it because we haven't seen a stop motion film do anything like this before, and it's nice to see that it was executed by Leica, and they are a really good company. All right, next one. Best Adapted Screenplay? My, my pick for um, Best Adapted Screenplay would have to be Arrival. I thought that it was, yeah, just everything about that movie was just brilliant and definitely my pick. Your pick, Sean? I, I'd have to go with uh, Fences, even though I haven't seen the film. It's August Wilson and I think um, based on the play, which is very successful, I think um, what they, how they adapted his uh, play and turned it into a film, I think is really great and I think that should probably will win. Yeah, I think for me, it's got to be Fences. Alright, next one, best original screenplay. Best original screenplay would have to be uh, Manchester by the Sea. Just because I thought that movie was just brilliant. I thought the screenplay definitely shone, because it was even, everything about that movie was just... And it really, um, it was really in one of those movies that really captured everything it was meant to go in for, and it's just, yeah, I just love it. And what's your pick, Sean? I'd have to go with La La Land. It's, uh... You know, it's good to see a musical made today. Um, they don't make many of them, and it's just the most original thing um, that I think I've quite seen come out, um, and I think it sort of deserves it. Even though I agree with Alex that Manchester by the Sea by Kenny Lonigan is really, really good. Um, 
I think La Land, La La Land will be the one who wins. Yeah, I think my pick is like like Sean's La La Land. All right, so next is Best Supporting Actress. What's your pick, Alex? Okay. So my pick's Michelle Williams from Manchester by the Sea. I just thought that for, for out of all the nominations, that was the one nomination that really spoke to me, and I thought that her performance in it was brilliant. So yeah, that's yeah. my pick. Yeah. What's your pick, Sean? Like, I'd love to see Naomi Harris win, but I think Viola Davis is going to win just by the. I haven't seen the film, so it's sort of just a guess. Um, and I, like I, I've seen her in many things. She's a very powerful actress, and I think they will see that. And she, plus, she won the Golden Globe. I think my pick's got to be Naomi Harris because out of all the nominations, I think she gave a performance that was the most real, and she played a mom who abused her own child. And like, I kind of like liked that more than. You know, Viola Davis's performance. Like, don't get me wrong, Viola Davis' performances was really good, but personally, I think Naomi. Personally, I think Naomi Harris pulled it out even more. So that's my pick to win Best Supporting Actress. Next is Best Supporting Actor. What's your pick? Lucas Edges. I thought that him in Manchester by the Sea was just for such a young actor to get a performance like that at that film was just amazing. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pick him. And what's your picture? Um, I think it's Marcella Ali from Moonlight. Like, I haven't seen Moonlight, but from what I've seen of it, he seems pretty powerful, and I think he could win, even though I, I would really like to see um, Michael Shannon win for Nocturnal Animals, because I think he was the best thing about it. Um, but I do think it is going to Marcella Ali. My pick is Dev Patel. And like, this guy, since 2008, He's been destined to star, you know, like have a great big star, but fortunately had to appear in one shit film, and that cost him a little bit. But he's slowly been coming back, and I think this is the film that could cement his comeback and you know make him a, you know, a big star. So if he wins, so if he so if he wins the Oscar, I think this will definitely cement him as you know a big star. So Dev Patel is my pick to win Best Supporting Actor. All right, next one is Best Actress. What's your pick? My my pick Best Actress has to be um, Emma Stone. I thought she and La La Land was one of the best parts of the movie for me, and I just thought that she gave everything to that performance, and I thought that she was re really, really good in that role. I mean, what's your pick, Sean? Uh, even though I really liked Emma Stone, I think it's going to go to Natalie Portman, because her performance in Jackie, playing Jackie Candy, was just powerful and brilliant, and just shows showcases her as a brilliant actress. For me, without question, Emma Stone. I have gone on and on about how this is the best performance of the year, and like, I adore Emma Stone, she's one of my favourite actresses, and like, once again, this is, a, this is a great performance by her, and she did not disappoint in this one, so she's my absolute number one pick, and if she loses, I'm going to be frustrated as all hell. Alright, next one is Best Actor, what's your pick? My pick's of course Casey Affleck. I thought that out of all the performance, even though everyone gave him an exceptional performance, he was the shining light of that movie, the performance was so real, and everything he, everything, he gave everything to that role, and yet he definitely should be the best actor. What's your pick, Sean? Um, I'd go with Casey Affleck. I'd be surprised if he doesn't win. Um, but in saying that, I, I think Andrew Garfield should have been nominated for Silence, because his performance in that is so powerful and would have gave Casey Affleck a run for his money. But I think, yeah, Casey Affleck's going to win because of his performance. For me, I, my pick is Andrew Garfield. Like Andrew Garfield had the heart, determination, drive, and you know you felt for his character. Like he didn't want to kill anyone, and he saved seventy-five lives in the process. All right, so next one is I think is our favorite, best director. What do you think? Who do you think should win? Well, how do uh, how do you pronounce his name? The director for Arrival. Uh, Denis. Uh, Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve, what he said. Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. I don't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> I do apologise for butchering his name. Yeah, I, the guy, the direct, just say the director. I just called him Dennis. Because that's his first name. He's just the director of Arrival. You say. So yeah, my pick would have to be, I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm just going to say the director of Arrival. Because I thought that the vision for that movie was just exceptional and yeah, the execution. Was and he was, a, he was the main part of why that movie is so good. Because he had a vision. And he kept on track with that, and I thought it was a brilliant movie, so definitely him for best character. What's your pick, Sean? I'd really like to see Mel Gibson win for Hacksaw Ridge because um, it's his comeback film, and it would be like cherry on top, and I think it would be fantastic. But I do believe that um, Dave, Damien Chazelle is going to win for um, La La Land because of the originality, and it, this you know film came out of his head, so 
it's just very original and I think he probably will. Yeah, my pick is Damien Chazelle. My, in my opinion, I think he's the Quentin Tarantino of this generation because he's proved himself with one film. I think he had some fans coming off of Whiplash, so you know the fact that you know he's he's a big fan of movies and music. I think that culminated in something that I think is that can be called like the pulp fiction of musicals. So I think best director like Damien Chazelle should absolutely win it. And last but not least, best picture, the big one. What's your number one pick? Even though how much I would like to like a Francaise for Hatchel Reach to win, I do believe that my pick for Best Picture would have to be Manchester by the Sea. Just because that movie, out of all the movies this year, was the most perfectly executed. It was simple, but it had so much depth to it. And I felt that, yeah, that was the one movie that I would say would win it for the year for me. So yeah, definitely. And what's your all number one pick, Sean? Um, look, I, I really like Manchester by the Sea, but I think um, I, I, actually, I'd really like to see Hacksaw Ridge win, but I think it's going to go to La La Land. And I do believe Science, which I've been going on about today, but I do believe Science should be nominated because that was an amazing made film, well acted, well directed, and I think it should be at least nominated. But my pick will be uh, La La Land. I think about La La Land. Yeah, for me, without question, is La La Land. Like, if Science was nominated for Best Picture, I would have easily gone for that, but unfortunately, I only got one nomination for Best Cinematography. So. My pick for Best Picture is La La Land. It comes in a close second, but I think La La Land had the combination of what what makes an Oscar film an Oscar film. And like this film has everything you look for in you know like an Academy Award film. Like it has you know good characters, a good story, and like it just in my opinion it just screams an Oscar win. So I think La La Land should win Best Picture. All right, so that's all our picks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna watch the show and then after we'll come back and do an aftermath show and just like discuss what won and like our disappointments and who didn't win, what won. So be sure to keep a lookout for that and hope you guys enjoy the Oscars. This has been Next 5, Sean and Alex. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.